Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Teddy. In today's video, let's take a look at the Mahika Bryan thing that kind of went on. So first of all, I'm going to give you guys a quick little overview of it, right? Not, not the whole case has been disclosed yet. Right now, we're just looking at the little parts that we're able to see. So basic, super like, you know, easy words. Like if I were to explain this to like a kindergartner, because I actually teach kindergartners in karate. <laughs> Besides the point, if I were to teach it to one of them, you know, what I would say is this, okay, if I were to explain the story to them. On one afternoon, there was a 15-year-old girl named Mahika Bryant, right? And then there was another woman. So I don't want to say who the woman was to her because we don't know the exact person if it was guardian or friend or family because, like, you know, they're saying she's adopted. Some people say no. So I don't want to jump into any conclusions. There was another woman. Let's just keep it at that, all right? So 15-year-old girl, another woman, they get into an altercation. Now, Mahika Bryant calls 911. Says, hey, come here, help me out. And then so then the officer responds, he's on the way. Now, apparently somehow this fight gets out into the driveway. What ends up happening is they're fighting each other. And then somehow there's a knife involved. Okay. Now, look, I get it. Angers, emotions all over the place. So there's a knife involved. So they come out they're on the driveway. They're fighting each other. Suddenly out of nowhere, one of them drops. A man comes out of nowhere and just hits. That's what happens with body cam footage. Right. The police draws his gun. He says, you know, like, he, he tries to say, hey, what's going on, man? You know, like, he, he literally arrives on the scene, and he's in the, he's under the impression of, dude, like, what is going on, right? Now, once he's able to do that, he's over there, he's thinking, oh, man, you know, what am I going to do now? So this girl grabs a knife, you know, goes like this. So she's out here trying to go step straight into the heart. 15-year-old girl, rage with emotions. Things are all over the place. You already know. Nothing good happens when you're angry. So this girl's about to go stab. The cop fires shots. Now I heard some, you know, like, oh, what if he didn't, you know, just shoot? What if he just shot the arm? You know how hard that is? Going down, shooting the arm. Where are you going to shoot? Like here, here. What if that's not enough force? He shoots and she just drops. So he had to shoot her four times. I think, yeah, man, whatever it takes to just make sure that you, you can prevent a killing. Because even if he did, even if she did stab the girl, then it would still be, oh, dude, you, this officer just let her do whatever she wanted. So he kind of stopped the crime. I think it's a lot easier to just, you know, you know, take the shot, you know, shoot the shoot the person who's initiating contact, you know, disarm them, save that life, and then take this girl to hospital. That way you kind of are able to disarm the situation and now you can, you know, take further action. Because if you just waited for them, for, if you just waited for the girl to stab, what's going to happen next? The girl's going to pull the knife out, stab the cop, right? And she's, she's going to still be armed. So she's the she's the attacker. She's clearly the aggressor. So I think, oh shoot, okay, I, I think what the cop did was right. So I'm totally on, like, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. See, the only problem is, is that, yeah, when this whole thing happened, of course, some people are saying that he should not have shot. Like I just said. I don't think it's such a big deal. So, yeah. I think whatever the cop did was correct. Because if he didn't do that, then the girl would have, you know, literally stabbed the other one. So, man, the whole LeBron James thing. So, by the way, yesterday I was talking about it. I said, oh, I don't know which cop. But, yeah, the cop was actually this one. Man, LeBron, pff, love the way you play. But off the court, it's crazy, man. I really hope the BLM is paying LeBron, dude. Like, come on, man. Sign that man. Sheesh, dude. LeBron's taking so much heat for you guys, man. Come on. All that money that you guys are raising, where's it going to, huh? The BLM co-founder is buying a house. Give it to LeBron, man. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. Take care. Bye.